Women of CTV with Aaron Racine following a 3 1 defeat to Taunton Town in Lashley South. Aaron, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, I thought we, over the course of 90 minutes, played well and created chances, a lot of chances to score. Um, first half, we were a little bit in the shape we were playing, we didn't create too many clear cut opportunities, so we changed it at half time, which I think helped. And then, I mean, the second half, I think we dominated in terms of chances, just obviously couldn't take them. It felt like the momentum coming into the second half was significant from those changes, a lot more uh, dynamism coming forward, but then that second goal goes in for them and it just felt like the team looked a little bit more deflated after that. Yeah, it's just. It's, that's one of the things I said to the, the guys at half time, uh, at the end of the game, sorry. Just, it was after that second goal, it's how you react like mentally, like how your body shape, look, uh, body language looks. And I said to them, I said that it just looked like that was it for us. I didn't feel too confident after that second goal, just because, again, just to how we reacted to it. Um, I said to them, like, you're going you're gonna to go behind in games throughout the year, throughout your careers. It doesn't mean you're going to lose the game, it means you've got to react better. And then go and put it right, but we just I think we got in the, in the box um, well. We didn't really test the keeper too much, we got in the box and, and created some chances. I think just decision making and final end product just wasn't there today. Yeah, um, it felt like actually a game that could have been could have been won, even if it stayed exactly the same. The penalty going the way it did and everything like that, it, it felt like it was a very fine margin. Yeah, I think so. I just, well, in terms of in terms of stats, I look back at it, but I think we dominate in terms of in, in terms of chances. Um, Another day, maybe we do put away that penalty and we don't concede that back pass and all these little things. But in terms of statistically, I think we did dominate the game. One situation for you today, uh, having a new goalkeeper, which obviously is a bit of a switch up for team and defence. Uh, talk us through that with Ollie's injury. Uh, do you know what his recovery time might be? Uh, Ollie had, he picked up an injury on Monday and he felt it, but didn't th really think it was too bad. Um, but his parent club, Southampton, took him for a scan and the results came back a bit negative, well, obviously quite negative, so his time frame is around three to five weeks at the moment, but it's a, it's a bit of a new injury to them as well, so they're a bit unsure on exactly the, uh, the length of time, but they've put a three to five week time frame on it for the minute. So uh, Toby, probably the goalkeeper going forward, or do you think Rocco could be back in that time too? Uh, it's just good competition. When, when Rocco's back fit, there's, there's two keepers there um, to sort of compete for that spot. Yeah, very positive. Um, so looking into Tuesday then, uh, looking at the performance today, is there anything you'd like to take into that and anything you'd like to change? Obviously score more goals, concede less goals. Um, again, performance wise, I think if we can do everything we've done today, especially in that second half, and just be a bit more clinical in front of goal, I'll be happy with that. Um, we know what they're about a little bit, they, they get it forward quick, a bit direct, so I have to stay, stay alive for that, stay switched on for that. Um, but we can control the game like we can with the ball um, and then create the chances like we can um, and hopefully we can get uh, three points. Are you happy with what the squad might be or do you think it could be anyone missing or unavailable on Tuesday? Uh, no, we just have Ruben and Michael Glass back from suspension that's it. So we've got two more added to the mix um, and then we'll see how everyone's recovery is after today.